Canon's R3 has been a buzzing topic to camera lovers for quite a while now. There have been official announcements from Canon regarding the R3 camera. But as the release date is getting closer, the specifications of the R3 is getting clearer. Canon has recently revealed more features of the R3, and those features tell that the R3 is going to give tough competition to Sony A1. It feels like the R3 is going to be a complete camera package. It has faster performance, an improved sensor, impressive autofocus, high-res video and whatnot. Want to know more? Let's dive into the video. According to the official statements of Canon, the Canon R3 is going to be the full-frame back-illuminated stacked CMOS sensor, which is the first of a kind in the Canon EOS lineup. Because of the back-illuminated construction of the sensor, the low-light performance of this camera is going to be impressive. Moreover, the sensor will also perform significantly faster because of its stack design. And to complement the sensor's fast readout, this camera is going to come with a Digic X processor. Because the R3 promises faster readout and faster overall performance, we are expecting that the camera would have a very little rolling shutter issue. About the performance, this camera is going to shoot 30 frames per second with an electronic shutter in RAW and with autofocus and auto exposure enabled. The specs also say that speed light shooting is also possible with the electronic shutter. However, there is no information about the resolution of this camera. But it is going to position itself in between Canon EOS R5 and Canon 1D series. Moreover, it is going to be a camera for wildlife, sports, and other fast-paced scenarios. And those genres of photography and videography do not bother about high resolution much. So we are predicting that this is going to be a less than 40 megapixel camera. The Canon R3 is going to shoot 4K over samples videos which are supposed to offer smooth and detailed footage. It will also feature Canon Log 3 which can retain more dynamic range than the Canon Log and offers vivid looking colors in your footage. And to give you more flexibility in post-production, this camera will be capable of recording internal RAW movies. Besides, it has controls for professional video making. It has almost similar buttons and controls like the EOS 1D series and with the ease of use of the EOS R5. It comes with a fully articulating LCD touchscreen which is great for hybrid shooters and vloggers. Moreover, its weather sealed construction resists dust and water similar to what we have seen in the EOS 1D so that you can capture a football match or shoot in the wilderness, even if it rains. Additionally, its magnesium alloy body ensures the ruggedness and longevity of this camera. Furthermore, it will incorporate a viewfinder with eye control function which will facilitate easier focus while shooting. One of the most striking features of this camera is its autofocus. Canon has been featuring human and animal detect autofocus for quite some time now, and this time, Canon has launched new subject tracking capabilities like motorsport autofocus which will be able to focus automobile and bike both in images and videos. The autofocus will be much more efficient to perform in as low light as minus 7 exposure value. As a sports and wildlife camera, users might have to shoot with the R3 camera handheld a lot. And to compensate for shake during handheld shooting, this camera is going to include a coordinated control image stabilization which will be a combination of in-body image stabilization and lens-based image stabilization. It will reduce shake up to 8 stops according to the official announcement. So that was all about the latest news of the Canon EOS R3. Still there is no announcement about the release date of this camera, but according to Canon Watch, the R3 is going to be released within September 2021. So what are your thoughts about the upcoming Canon EOS R3? Let us know in the comment section.